Welcome to AD4 TV Radio News Update. My name is Adiemi Tosin. In the news today, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky today appointed former Nigerian Minister Mrs. Obiagelieze Quincy as an ambassador of the Ukrainian government's program Grain from Ukraine. This is a result of the severe effect of the global food crisis, an initiative of the Ukrainian government to assist countries suffering from acute food shortage relative to the war with Russia. And the rare mark disclosed that Ezequiel Celia and her colleagues are joining international experts and leaders to support the initiative. Ghana's President Nana Adodanko Akufo Addo on Thursday appointed Air Vice Marshal Frederick Asari Kwasi as Chief of Air Staff. Marshal's appointment was done in consultation with the Council of State compatible to provisions of Article 212 of the country's constitution and the completion of the tour of duty and the retirement from the armed forces of his predecessor, Air Vice Marshal Frank Hassan. In another vein, France and the Netherlands at a trilateral meeting between French Foreign Minister Catherine Cologne, her Dutch counterpart Wokpe Hoxpra and Romanian Foreign Minister Bogdan Osrek in Bucharest on Friday expressed their support for Romania's accession process to the Schengen area. They reaffirmed that an active and dedicated support will be given to Romania to achieve these goals. The three ministers signed a joint declaration in Bucharest for security cooperation, which also includes the support of the three countries for Ukraine and their readiness to work in accordance with European Union and NATO policies. United States Head of Air Mobility Command General Mike Minihan in a memo sent to officers in his command said he predicts that United States will be at war with China in two years and tell them to get ready to prepare by firing a clip at the target and aim for the head. Mike said that because both Taiwan and the United States will have presidential elections in 2024, the United States will be distracted and Chinese President Xi Jinping will have an opportunity. On health issues, JC Director of Public Health Professor Peter Bradley today said JC's coronavirus helpline has closed as the government continues to win back pandemic measures. The helpline, which was set up in 2020 to provide advice and help islanders book PCR tests and vaccinations, was a key part of the pandemic response in ensuring that islanders were supported through the pandemic period. Peter said people can continue to receive coronavirus guidance and make vaccination appointments using JC's COVID-19 website. A Kenyan court on Wednesday convicted a Venezuelan diplomat, Dwai Sagare, over the murder of the Latin American nation's acting ambassador, Olga Fonseca, 10 years ago at her official residence in Nairobi. The diplomat was tried for the murder after his diplomatic immunity was waived by Venezuela. The court found that Mr. Sagare was heading the mission before the arrival of Fonseca and was angered by her presence since he wanted to continue overseeing the embassy. Moving to Spots. Liberia's new head coach and Suketa today at his unveiling called for patience as he seek to take the Lone Stars to their first major international tournament in over 20 years. Keita said he will build a strong home-based team that will qualify for the African Nations champion in 2024 and also qualify Liberia for the 2023 and 2025 African Cups of Nations. For more information, please visit our platforms showing on the screen right now. Many thanks for watching.